It's important to know the life cycle of a pump system to ensure that productivity from that asset is being maximised throughout its life cycle. That includes the motor, variable speed drive and the pump itself. The whole life approach of looking at pumps really encompasses all elements of potential cost when it comes to that asset, so maintenance costs, energy costs, um, the, the capital price of the equipment to begin with. It, it impacts people's decision making process in terms of there's traditionally a lot of focus on the capital cost of the equipment and actually when we look at the rising energy prices over time and the cost of maintaining equipment when it fails in terms of environmental costs, um, fines and also the downtime that it causes and the disruption to customers, then the TOTEX approach and looking at the whole life cost of that asset really needs to encompass all aspects of the life of that piece of equipment. Today's variable speed drives are very reliable. We can expect up to 200,000 hours of lifetime from those assets. The occurrences where there's a genuine product failure are low. Normally, um, when the variable speed drive goes into a fault condition, this normally indicates a problem with the process itself rather than the actual equipment, which would require some further investigation. Best way of maintaining a variable speed drive asset, including the motor in that, is, is making sure that preventative maintenance is carried out on a regular basis in line with manufacturer's recommendations. Generally, typical example of um, fan replacement, for example, is every three years. Um, if, if the drive is being used on a permanent basis, the fan is the only moving part in the, in the equipment itself. There are other things that need to be done as well. A reliability assessment is um, where we assess the variable speed drive assets that you have on a particular site, for example, and we will look at a risk-based assessment of what's the likelihood of failure of that drive and, for example, are the parts and support still available for those variable speed drives. The best way of maintaining them is using ABB's authorised value provider network. Those companies are specially trained in the maintenance of the variable speed drives and typically they can recommend the best course of action in terms of maintaining the productivity of that asset.